I'll try and make this as super quick as possible. I know you're all ready to go. Um, <clears throat> so first of all, very quickly, I just want to kind of get an idea of how many people have used Unity before? So there's, I guess there's, yeah, there's a, and I guess everyone, is everyone using Unity today then? Yes. As who hasn't yeah, exactly. used Unity, I yeah. think should probably. I have. Okay. Wow. It's one and a half people that we haven't used. It's crazy. Um, okay. I'll try and revise things. <laughs> <laughs> Could you just quickly reach the that, that advanced stuff right now? Here we go. So who am I? I am Joe Robbins, and my job title is Community Evangelist. Uh, I've had a strange path through Unity, doing all kinds of different crazy stuff. I started out as a well, there's me drinking a strange sort of beer. Um, so yeah, I started out as a 3D artist. My background was primarily in that field. Um, 3D Studio Max is my weapon of choice. Um, around five, six, maybe seven years ago. Oh God, <laughs> it makes me feel. I started using Unity. Uh, it was when it was only on Mac. Couldn't deploy to any mobile devices at that point, so it's kind of an old, you know, a, a time ago. And then I became a Unity employee. I was doing technical support. My uh, job title was technical support specialist. Um, but effectively that meant that I was answering all of the support emails, so <laughs> the specialist part was kind of, you know. Um, people. Yeah, so I've kind of gone a strange path. I did like a lot of demo projects, stuff like that, uh, but right now I pretty much spend my time traveling around and demoing Unity to people, uh, which is great. So Game Jams and Unity, it's pretty much a match made in heaven in a lot of ways. Uh, the, whole, the whole philosophy behind Unity in terms of its workflow fits perfectly for game jams. It's all about rapid iteration. You know, I guess you know this is the thing. <laughs> so yeah, it's ideal for rapid iteration and prototyping. So the basic flow being, for those that don't, uh, that don't know, I guess I'll just <laughs> uh, So you start off with like an idea and a concept or a concept. Then you create that. Let's see, programming. <laughs> it's just like swimming, it's easy. <laughs> and this is coming from a 3D artist as well. Right? Uh, and then you play test. And normally it's a uh, screen, it's just like that. <laughs> and then you go back. <laughs> So this kind of this kind of loop I found to be like super super effective. So you kind of especially if you have a dog. I think you'll have to change the slide if you want their attention. <laughs> so it's that Tony Garcia. That's a little like it. Right? <laughs> yeah, this this general flow can be very effective in the game jam kind of environment. So what I find is if you if you like if you like sit around and you're really focused and you like work out what each of you guys are doing I mean, come up with an idea and start creating and go up on, on, on your own and start working on it then you play test which is always fun but then having a period of say like 15 minutes 30 minutes in between where you can just sit and talk about it and work out what worked what didn't throw some ideas around catch them see what works play around and then loop back around again i found that to be really really effective at the first game jam that i went to back in 2008, I guess. Uh, I think you should remove this slide when you yeah, sorry. <laughs> because we can't focus. Sorry. <laughs> you haven't seen anything yet. <laughs> so, so yeah, and this is all going on within the editor as well, which I guess the majority of you all know, so you don't need to make builds. You can just do it all in the editor and test it and test it and test it. So, good chip tips for game jams. Obviously, there's been some fantastic advice already, but I'll, so I'll skip through this pretty quickly. Tiredness equals bugs. That's what that's supposed to represent. Um, and and uh, yeah, so the blue Power Ranger is a pro. Make sure that you sleep. It's out like some people like go for it, stay up for the 48 hours on caffeine alone. I personally find that taking like a little bit of time to sleep ends up making things so much easier because you know your brain's kind of fried at some point and you'll just be writing strange things and it won't compile and you'll be getting confused. So sleep is good. Uh, and this one's kind of a strange one, it's this, this slide. It, it's a bit weird. But, um, but the, the overall concept is 
from my perspective, you're in the you're in the position to try something completely crazy. You've got 48 hours, you know. So do something different. That is definitely the, the way to go. And you are kind of like a pioneer in the game development that's seen right now. Because ultimately, there's nothing that's kind of solid with games at this point. It's such an unexplored territory. So head out into the jungle and find something crazy, or maybe go across the sea on a boat. Who knows, you might find a whole new island somewhere and no one's discovered it before, and it's actually quite awesome. <clears throat> Just like these guys. <laughs> Um, yeah, keep things simple, focus on gameplay. Generally, what are, this is my entirely scientific graph <coughs> with the risk of failure on the left and complexity going up. There you go. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> and obviously, have fun. So I could do a demo about Unity right now, but maybe it's not really worth it with you guys knowing everything about it. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, uh, so yeah, this is like, yeah, we've got uh, an extended license for everyone here. So um, it includes all these things. So Unity Pro, iOS Pro, Android Pro, and the team license. Uh, and that's like a 30 day trial. So you get all of those things. And that's the, that's the serial. I'll, I guess I'll copy that and paste it elsewhere. <laughs> Um, in terms of you guys, what's your familiarity with source control in Unity? Have you got all that locked down for the team license? Anyone not sure? You don't? Okay. So maybe we should start with Emil's talk. So Emil can talk all about the best way to share projects in a game jam environment. 